Hey everybody, this is Kimberly, and if you're looking for a great time in Hatteras, North Carolina, on a budget, then this is the video for you. Hatteras Island is a barrier island located off the coast of North Carolina. It is part of North Carolina's Outer Banks, or OBX. The island is known for sports fishing, surfing, windsurfing, kiteboarding, swimming, bird watching, and of course, the beaches. From the border of Virginia, there's 85 miles of beaches. In 2022, Dr. Beach named Ocracoke Lifeguarded Beach the number one beach in America. Number six was Lighthouse Beach in Buxton, one of the islands of the Outer Banks. Hey, welcome to Adventures with K&K. &K. I am DJ KO. And C. Kimberly. And we know that there's a lot of videos on uh, the Outer Banks, but this is our trip and we want to share it with you. We're not on a huge budget, so we're going to do things that are inexpensive and fun and we hope you enjoy it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to head out on the beach, but the first thing that we need to do is let out some of the air and the tires because we don't want to get stuck. One of the special things about the Outer Banks is that you can go to a lifeguard beach or you can go to a beach that's completely desolate, which is what we did. And it was wonderful not having to be close to anyone and almost having the beach to ourselves. Mm -hmm. What time is it? It's yoga time. We're on vacation in Hatteras, but as you know, I'm a yoga teacher. I'm a yogi at heart, and so is Kevin. And when we're on vacation, we don't stop doing yoga. Inhale, arms reach up and overhead, pumps touch. Exhale as we hinge at the hips, folding forward, releasing the fingertips down. Inhale to a half flat back. Exhale, fold deep head into the knees, plant our palms as we step our feet back to a high or modified plank with the knees down. What time is it? In the 1800s, there was a hurricane that wiped out a land bridge that went from Hatteras to Ocracoke Island. Uh, since then, a ferry has been set up and it's free.
when we are not DJing, we love to adventure and love to eat. And when we're on Ocracoke Island, we love our Mexican food and we get it from Eduardo. Are you excited for your meal? I can't wait for the veggie burrito. <laughs> este gringa <laughs> es loca para la comida mexicana. Happy Lindo. <laughs> exactly. So when you're going to the Ocracoke Island, or the Republic of Ocracoke, like they like to say, you have two options. You can take the passenger ferry or the car ferry. And we suggest... The passenger ferry. Passenger ferry by far. Uh, why would we take the passenger ferry? Because yesterday it took us forever to get on the ferry and get to the island, and even longer to get on the ferry and get home. When you take the passenger ferry, like we did the first time with our bikes and then the second time without, uh, it goes on every hour, so you don't have to wait more than an hour to get on. And the ride is nice, you're in, indoors and seated. Uh, when you take the car ferry, you have to wait, and if there's a lot of cars, now we went on a Tuesday, and we still had to wait an hour and a half. So it went on every hour and we, we finally got on. But coming back was a bit of a nightmare because we got there just before eight and it took almost three and a half hours to get back. Yeah, I thought it was fun to take it over this one time. In our case, we got to explore the island. It's small and really, uh, I think unless you're staying there for a couple days, you can't just take a passenger ferry and go over and go to one end of the island and back. Um, so you might want to go there and stay for a couple days if you want to explore the whole island. But if you want to go over and just stay within the town and explore the shops and the restaurants and the couple of beaches that are within walking distance, that's totally doable to go on the passenger ferry. But I don't see us taking the car ferry again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give us a flag. lucky to be staying here with our family and we want you to know that if you don't have friends or family down here in Hatteras you can afford to come down there's camping sites available there are plenty of accommodations for less than a hundred dollars a night you can also reach out to bacasa.com to find uh, all sorts of rentals and accommodations we hope you can make it some time and get to enjoy this beautiful island. We are all packed up and ready to leave our fun vacation on Hatteras Island. <laughs> and it was awesome. Can't wait to come back. <laughs> so if you enjoy the content of the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>